Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 12, which also happens to be the last vlog of the year. And I can't believe we are already getting into year 2023. Feels like we're in the future, crazy to think about, crazy to even say, but I am so grateful to even be on this earth. Thank you God for everything that he has given me this year, all the accomplishments, and of course, with the support of all of you guys, it's just pushing me to work on this passion that I love, and that is filming, talking, creating, sharing, showcasing, and all that jazz. So thank you so much for being here. Again, I so appreciate every single one of you that even watch my video, like my video, support my video, share my video, whatever it is that you do, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it and I hope to continue to have your support going into this new year. As you have seen by the title, today we're going to be doing a Q&A makeup get ready with me video. I have asked on my Instagram, if you're not following me, go follow me. My handle is Martha Elizabeth with two A's. I have asked my fellow followers and friends, give me some questions so that I can answer in this video. And a little perk to that is out of everyone that has given me some questions, I'm gonna put it in a random chosen generator. So whatever the generator picks, whichever handle the generator picks is gonna win $50 today. And that's pretty cool. I always love seeing those videos. So I decided, you know what? I have the $50 to give, let me give it out. It's the holiday season, let's end the video with a bang. And so someone's gonna win $50 today, which is really exciting. I had watched my face earlier today i didn't want to wash it again i already cleansed it put on the sunscreen put on the moisturizer so that's what we're kind of working with again i just finished eating so my belly is nice and full and ready for this video so i'm not feeling hangry like midway through the video sometimes that has happened to me and i have like tried to rush through the end of the video just to get it done because i'm so hungry but today i'm not so i'm fully prepped i have some of my things out here laid ready to work with i'm working with a small space here people so bear with me if it just sounds like a lot of not the greatest real estate over here with all my stuff laying out but all good the first question i have here is your top three money management book recommendations so in other words what are your top three money management book recommendations that is a great question and to be honest i don't really read a lot of money or finance books i've only i only remember reading one of them and that is tony robbins unshakable that book is such a good book the reason why i really like that book is because it talks about index funds and why you should invest in index funds long term and it just really goes into it i don't want to because i read that so long ago that i'm like i don't want to butcher anything or like make it seem less than what it really gives because it gives so much so many nuggets and you really learn it that's what got me into investing in index funds so i don't have many book recommendations I will say my resources to money and finance management is YouTube. Love YouTube, Graham Stephan, YouTube and Google, majority YouTube because they really go in depth and I really like to hear and see people like I'm, I'm a visual learner. By the way, I am using Laura Mercier primer. This is a sample primer, pure canvas primer. It's a blurring primer. Like I said, primer a million times. But one of my biggest goals this year and last year, I, I've reached it really, I think this year I reached it, which was my goal of hitting a credit score of 800 over 800 which I hit that goal I'm so proud of myself but that was YouTube because I didn't have anyone in my life that can give me solid advice to boost up my credit score so yeah YouTube all the way and if you want a book on shakeable Tony Robbins wanna I want to go through a little bit more of my makeup so I, as I mentioned I use a primer and now we're going to use the oh my gosh and I have not done my eyebrow we're gonna ignore that I honestly have no order when I do my makeup. No order whatsoever. So usually when I don't know what to do next, I just go straight in with my mascara. As you all know, I love telescopic. I've talked about how this is literally my holy grail. And then I also love the Too Faced better than sex mascara. I, I have two backups already for this. It's such a good mascara. So what I do is I just start with the telescopic because this really makes my lashes look so much longer. I just go straight in with the other mascara. You could tell it's it's a different wand. So this is this one and then this is this one. You could tell the difference. Yeah. 
This one, obviously, the Too Faced has a lot more product, thicker wand. I kind of want to go straight into my foundation, so let's just do that. Where did the sun go? Where did the sun go? Did it go here? It's too bright. The, the, the sun is kind of throwing me off a little bit, guys. All right, so I'm just going to kind of go a little closer. So next thing I want to go into is my foundation for some reason. So one thing about me is I am not a crazy big fan of foundation, like at all, actually. I love concealer. I'd rather just stick with concealer. I hate foundation. I hate the way it looks on my skin skin but sometimes there are days i'm like i want to like have a full face of makeup and foundation and then i always regret it then there's other times where i put a little bit of foundation and it works out so i want to try that today i'm going to put some in the back of my hand uh, i'm going to start with a little bit so literally just one pump and i'm going to use my real techniques brush i'm just going to apply it on my skin the sun is doing all types of weird stuff right now so i wonder if you could see that I definitely have to shave my face does anyone else shave their face with like a little mini razor or like a face razor? You know, like the eyebrow razors? Like these. Which I was totally gonna do before the video, but I didn't have time. This one, it's the Tinkle brand. It works out, honestly. I love the way my skin feels at the end. Oh. I'm gonna use one more palm, like that much. That is how much foundation I'm gonna wear today. So the next question we have is, what is your favorite podcast? So I don't use, I mean, I don't listen to a lot of podcasts, but I do have a few favorites. They're kind of a little bit mainstream, I feel like, but because I don't listen to a lot of podcasts, I haven't ventured deeper, deeper into it. Like sometimes I want to listen to a specific topic and then I'll find some some podcasts that are about like 15 minutes short 15 minutes long and i don't find it like gravitating enough to where i'm like this is a great person and a great podcast host let me follow them i'm kind of picky at it so some of my favorites are by the way i'm using concealer maybelline fit me 20 sand sable that is it so the ones that I listen to are with Justin Baldoni. Okay, so my battery died, of course it did. And this sun situation is just bugging me out, so we're gonna work with it. If I'm squinting so much, clearly it's because the sun is all up in my face and like, it's hard to keep your eyes open for so long when the sun is like beaming inside it. But anyways, going back to the podcast, I love the Man Enough podcast. I also love the one with Lewis House. I met him by the way. Fun fact, I met him at a Tony Robbins, at Tony Robbins 6 birthday shout out to unblinded they were the source of that even happening for me to go to LA and like be a part of Tony Robbins event where he was celebrating his 60th birthday and he had a bunch of celebrities including Lewis House, Paris Hilton, and like Pitbull. Pitbull appeared there. It was great. I also really love Jay Shetty's podcast. Really love The Stoic. I think it's called Daily Stoic with Ryan Holiday. Love him. So those are a few of the podcasts that I enjoy that I actually like go back to and try to find something that is resonating in my heart in my life. I was doing concealer on my face. I feel like I'm squinting a lot, so the creases are just gonna be creasing even more. As you can tell, I don't do this on the regular and I don't know the proper setup. I thought that this would be great for like great lighting, which I'm sure it is, but definitely not at 1, 2 p.m. when the sun is quite literally the hottest. We're gonna continue with another concealer that I really love to highlight myself with, and this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade and i really like to use this because i feel like this has greater coverage than the maybelline one and yeah we're gonna use it i don't really like to put it on my skin so what i'll do is i will just squeeze it a little bit so that there is enough so that i can go back with my beauty blender and really it's so hard to keep my eyes open i will put it down my nose though just so i could have extra extra coverage i also forgot to conceal the bottom of my eyebrows because my camera died so i was like caught off guard um but usually i'll just kind of go under here go a little here put some here because we're going to be using some eyeshadow there so what i'll do is i will go in with this brush right here it's an elf brush that I've used for so long. Like so long that you could tell the bristles of it, it's like popping out. Probably really, I need a new one. But anyways, I'm just gonna clean up. And this honestly makes it easier for me to apply my brow product on like the right places and like not take too long. Okay, I have to say something. I have to say something right now. Does anyone else feel like their concealer or maybe specifically this concealer? Cause I feel like it also happens with this concealer. 
Whenever I put it anywhere near my eyes, it almost like burns. Like why does it burn? Like right now it's burning. When I put it here, sometimes it burns. Why? Like honestly, it's burning. It's like low-key uncomfortable. I'm definitely not allergic because I never get red. It just literally burns. It's so weird. We are gonna go set this eye because I kind of want to go in with eyeshadow now. Actually, let's do our brows. But before we do our brows, let's go into the next question. Next question is, what is your favorite quote? Ooh, good question. I have a lot of favorite quotes. One of them is, thoughts positive or negative shape our biology. Any thought that we have positively will affect our current mood, our current habits in the day, our routine. Let's use the breakup example. Breaks, breakups are hard, breakups are negative. So if I'm going through a breakup, I'm going to be down. I'm going to be bummed out. I don't want to eat. I don't want to talk. I don't want to do anything that is affecting our biology, right? How many times have you heard people who have quite literally passed away because of heartbreak? Because their significant other passed away or some situation like that and same goes with positive thoughts if you have passed your bar exam let's say for example you are so delighted you're so happy you're so excited you want to tell the whole world you want to share that energy you want to like go out and celebrate and bring up all the positive energy like it quite literally affects our biologies. Anytime that you are going through any positive or negative thoughts, any positive or negative conversation, anything positive or negative, it will literally shape our biology. And I think it is such a good quote to think about too, because it brings us back to the realization that, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't ponder on this for so long because it will literally affect my being, my physical being that that said and you'll feel a little more empathetic for yourself that is like my top one another one that i really love is whether you think you can or you can't you're right by henry ford great and the other quote was from dr bruce lipton great quote great two quotes whether you think you can or you can't you're right by henry ford anything that you think you will do anything you commit to yourself anything that you commit in your mind that you can do you will do it because you have committed and you will reach for the path that takes you to the ultimate goal you will do it i believe in you believe in yourself you can do it and if you think you cannot you will not reach for the path you will not follow the path that will reach to the goal because you have not believed in yourself you cannot believe that you will do it that you will achieve that so anything that you believe that you can do you will do anything you believe that you cannot do you will not do because you have not surpassed that obstacle of belief where you can go ahead and follow the path to reach the goal so those are two of the big quotes that come to mind right now that i really really do love and follow next we're gonna go in with the anastasia brow wiz in dark brown okay so now that we have done our brows i'm going to soften up and take out these creases on my eye and i'm going to set them i'm gonna set them in place because i kind of want to start my eyeshadow now of course i'm using the laura mercier translucent setting powder as you can tell i don't want to look in the camera because it's so bright it's so bright man but yeah and then i use an elf brush like a really old elf brush but one thing that i have been wanting to order that's in my cart that i have yet to order is the triangular little puff powder puff from amazon it's like the black and white ones oh my gosh i love seeing videos i love seeing makeup tutorials on tiktok just so that i can see people like apply that it's honestly just so satisfying to me and i kind of want to buy it so i'm going to buy it it's in my cart waiting for me to purchase my camera died again which is great and i think it has to do with it being overheated because of this really hot sun so as i was saying i want to go in with a mix of the jaclyn hill arms and gorgeous palette an eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like it's so pretty look at all those shades and the other palette that i might get into is this 9t neutral territory morphe palette it has a huge mirror it's honestly great for like transition shades transition shades the next question that i was giving is what are some of your tips for consistency when it comes to habits and i think i'm going to generalize it as tips with consistency because that is what i use when it comes to habits when it comes to work when it comes to other things right habits in general because i obviously your day is made up of all the habits that you have made up for yourself whether it was consciously or unconsciously having a solid statement of your why what is the 
reason why you do certain things why do you get up to do work why do you get up to want to work out what is the main like common denominator to everything that you do when you can do that little exercise for yourself and come together and find out what your why is that's going to be the foundation of why you're going to do things so if you're ever feeling inconsistent if you're ever feeling like i don't want to do this i really don't want to do this well go back to that sentence and tell yourself my why is because i want to be healthy i want to be successful and i want to be kind and a better human being for my kids for my family so that i can create an even more magical and greater life in the future like that could be my why that could be your why and so that thinking about that thinking about that my children my children my future family a future home future successful businesses like that is all going to be inspiring in my mind right and allow and push me to do the things i don't feel like i want to be consistent but like damn if i do this and I do it again and I do it again, I'm gonna be in an even better place in five to 10 years. So I have to start right now. Also, I would highly recommend just having accountability people in your life. Oh man, I'm like completely ruining. At this point, I don't think it's a makeup tutorial. It's just like a mess up your face, Martha, answers and questions video. The next question says, if death said January 1, 2023 was it, what would you change or do? If my world were to end in three days, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything. I would only tell everyone that I love that I love them. I am pretty happy with where I am right now with what I can work with, you know what I mean? Like I don't have all the money that I want in order to build certain things and do certain things. But with what I have, I am making the best out of it. And I have my family that I'm here with, which I mean, if I am gone in two days, I think I would be very happy if I go with where I am right now, my family. So as you could tell, I put on my eyeshadow already this shade this is the essence contour duo palette as like an overall shadow transition shade and then i went in with the jacqueline hill shade secure this is a really bright purple bright purple bright orange very pigmented very smooth went in with that and then i went in with this as like the other top like transitioning shade as well by the way, I am absolutely not a makeup guru, makeup artist. This is all obviously just for fun. Please don't take any of this serious. And then I, then you see some sparkle there. I also went in with Guilt Trip. It's this sparkly one over here. And it's really, really pretty. Really, really sparkly. Like glittery. It's like shimmery. It's not really glittery. It's shimmery. I think that's like the best word to describe that. And yeah, I put that on my lid, put on some eyeliner now we're gonna go in and finish off the base and then see if we're gonna add any final touches on the eye if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be oh if i could live anywhere in the world where would it be right now it would probably be spain i don't know the situation like how spain is but just the fantasy of how beautiful it is over there i would love to live in spain so i love this to literally put all over like i love putting it all over you guys know i love putting blush like you've seen so i use that as like a base and then i go on with this this is more pigmented so i gotta be very careful what is a passion project of yours it would definitely be organizing events that a bunch of people can come together like strangers can come together and network i wouldn't say that this is a passion project that i have yet to start because i did start that with the feminine shoot I put that together May of this year, which was a huge deal for me. The other one that I think about is this. It's precisely this, it's creating content. That's like the biggest passion of mine. So um, whatever your passion is, go for it. So let's remove this now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Shade and Pillow Talk. Love this one. It's my go-to. So that concludes the entire makeup look and that concludes the entire Q&A except for one question. And the last funny question that I chose out of the bunch was what's better, baleadas or pupusas? First of all, I know who sent this obviously. Baleadas are an Indurian thing. De Honduras and I'm not Hondureña. I'm sorry, not sorry. Salvadoreña, Pusas, 100% all the way. Okay, so we gotta pick the winner of today's $50 giveaway. Let's click on the white button and make it spin. It's spinning. Who will it be? Oh, 
my goodness congratulations ashley you won 50 dollars that's so exciting thank you so much for everyone who's given questions i didn't answer every single question because i really truly think this video would be just way too long because i talk a lot and also just the fact that i'm also doing my makeup i don't even have enough supply to match my shadow and my lip like this is just two different combos happening and it doesn't go with it but i wanted to have fun i had so much fun creating these last 12 vlogs for vlogmas i cannot believe that i pulled through it was not as consistent in the second half but um i'm just so happy i got to do it i learned so much for myself from my video editing process from my setups and i know what to do next year next year i definitely know what i have to prepare for in order to make it a success and in order to feel really good about the overall outcome and again thank you so much for every single person that has supported this channel this year i am so so deeply grateful and i'm so excited for the next year thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you next year happy new year happy holidays thank you everyone bye